You're watching PNN, the Philips News Network. Welcome to a special edition of PNN. The urban challenge, I think, is the greatest challenge we face. What makes the city more livable? A livable city is one with good transport system, sound education system, affordable housing, and food. Right now I'm here in Alpharetta, Georgia at a beautiful city park. Standing near the Pilchuck River in Snohomish, Washington. This is just outside of Bothell where a lot of employees of Phillips live and it's one of the things that make living here just outstanding. I'm here in Ibirapuera Park. This is one of the places that makes my city more livable. Right now, approximately 50% of the world's population, about 3 billion people, live in cities and urban areas. By 2050, that number is expected to rise to 70%. It begs the question, what do we need to do now to make sure cities and their surrounding communities can remain livable, survive, thrive, and remain sustainable as they meet the rising demands of rapid urbanization? Our attitudes toward our health and the communities we live in are among the subjects covered by a study, the Phillips Index, by our Phillips Center for Health and Well-Being. The center was formed to look at global issues affecting the health and well-being of people around the world. But we also wanted to hear from you. So we sent out our team of Phillips roving reporters to find out what you think makes a city livable. Hi, I'm the roving reporter Renata Cesario. I'm here in Ibirapuera Park. Here, people from all ages share a nice place to talk, exercise, and socialize. This is one of the places that makes my city more livable. For me, a livable city is about transport and the ability to move around the city. For me, a livable city is about just to be safe in the city. When it comes to what makes a city livable, three topics that are important to people are opportunity for a healthy lifestyle, safety, and independent living. These three themes are also echoed in our center's recent index results. Understanding what people find important enables us to develop meaningful innovations. For instance, simple solutions for safety. Recently, we conducted research in cities in the UK, the Netherlands, and Spain. A simple change in street light color from yellow to white. Residents say it's not only made them feel safer, helping reduce crime and traffic accidents, it's lengthened the amount of time they can enjoy outdoors. Simple solutions for a healthier lifestyle, like our Direct Life and Activa portable fitness devices. These innovative solutions allow wearers to track their activity, get motivation and feedback to get fit and stay healthy. Simple solutions for access to healthcare, especially in the ever-increasing aging population. Our Philips Lifeline connects people to medical assistance at the push of a button, or the Motiva, an interactive healthcare platform that connects patients with chronic conditions to their healthcare providers via their home television. These three themes are also reflected in our global brand campaign. A central component of the campaign is the Philips Livable Cities Award. Chances are you're watching this in a city. Today, chaired by respected urbanist and best-selling author Richard Florida. We're reaching out to individuals and organizations across the globe to find the best ideas for simple solutions that address the challenges of making cities more livable and embrace our goal of bringing health and well-being to the world. And the solutions can indeed be simple, like this one in New York's Times Square. The once busy square has been transformed simply by closing off traffic creating a plaza, and installing a street mural. The soothing blues reflect sunlight and absorb less heat, improving the look of the popular plaza and providing a comfortable place to sit. Everybody seems a little bit more relaxed now. They can have a place to sit down, catch their breath, look around. So I think everybody's a little bit more relaxed now that we got some place where we can actually relax. Everybody's meeting and walking around and talking to people it really adds a lot to the flavor of the city. In Bangalore, India, they have found a way to conserve natural resources through rainwater harvesting, as explained by PNN roving reporter Abhishek Acharya. The administration has asked every new building to have a mechanism to capture the rainwater on their rooftops and put it under 
the ground and the sound which ultimately feeds back into the earth. Although it's a very simple idea, it goes a long way in ensuring that we do not overutilize the resources, the natural resources and uh, making sure that we have a sustainable living on this earth. It's simple ideas like these that could help improve the health and well-being of people all around the world. Hopefully we can find projects and programs, community initiatives that are simple and basic solutions but are also replicable and scalable that other community groups around the world can Im imitate and adapt to their community. Submissions will be judged in three categories, well-being outdoors, independent living, and healthy lifestyle at work and home. The overall winning idea will receive a grant of 75,000 euros. Two additional ideas will be awarded 25,000 euros. So what can you do to help? Unfortunately, you can't enter yourself, but you can help spread the word about the award in your community and encourage people to submit their idea. But you better hurry. The deadline is October 28th. For more information, go to www.phillips.com slash because. And keep it tuned here to PNN. We'll keep you up to date on the latest results from the campaign. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.